Hello and welcome to Outside Xbox, the watching show of the week. I'm Andy. And I'm Mike. This week I embraced the season and made everything I can lay my hands on pumpkin spice flavoured. Have you pumpkin spiced my tea? Yep, and my energy drink. Oh man, I'm never going to get this taste out of my mouth. I'm going to go brush my teeth. Enjoy your new toothpaste. So what else have you been doing apart from ruining food and drink? Mostly that, actually. Oh, I have been playing WWE 2K18. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I have as well. Let me just throw this tea away and we can talk about it. Uh, have you played much of it? Uh, yes, yeah. We uh, we went to we went to that event and uh, got a decent sort of couple of hours on the on the game. Mm -hmm. uh, played a bit of the sort of single match type stuff and also a bit of the new career mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, allows you to kind of wander around backstage. So the, they had the backstage brawling last year. Yes. But now they've got those same sort of backstage areas, but you can kind of walk around in between matches and chat to people, and you can decide whether you're going to become like a a super corporate guy who's going to keep the bosses happy, or you can be like a fan favorite who rebels against the institution that is the WWE. Yeah, it um, starts you off in the NXT performance center mm. as a sort of rookie wrestler just coming from the indies. Yeah. You can just go around and be a total jerk to everyone. Yeah, it's brilliant. Like. We're going yeah. around insulting all the, <laughs> yeah. all the NXT. It's, it's sort of like <laughs> Mass Effect, but with wrestlers. And you can just be a real jerk yeah. to like the guys like, you know, you're going to have to work hard and you can be like, yeah, that's right, boss. I just want to work hard and be the best I can. Yeah. Or you can be like, no, I'm not really interested in hard work. <laughs> sounds like, sounds hard. I'm, I'm born for this stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to do a backflip off the top rope. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I always enjoy a career mode in a wrestling game. I still, I think it's a bit annoying that it still doesn't have the option for a career mode for women wrestlers this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Like it's still just, just men. And with like how much they've been pushing the the women's division mm. in the actual WWE, you'd think that they would like reflect that in the game. As yeah, well. there's a bunch but. more really good female wrestlers in there, like Ember Moon's in there, mm -hmm. Asuka, Asuka yeah. she's in there, yeah. Um. The following content is beautiful. Just, it just seems an odd omission that you can't just do the same thing but as a woman wrestler. The other thing that struck me about the career mode was that last year we were able to create a brilliant character called Lion Face, who looked yes. ridiculous. He had the face of a lion. He had, did have the exactly face and the, the heart of uh, yeah, a lion. But mainly the face. Also, and the yeah, and the hair. And um, <laughs> but we tried to recreate Lion Face in the career mode when we played it, and we had so much more limited options. So they've put a lot of the kind of creator wrestler options for your career mode like behind progression sort of yeah. stuff. Well, it's because you're so young at the start that you can't grow a beard. That's yeah. why we couldn't give him a beard. Yes, yeah. And then you see grow Which older. Which is frustrating in the same way that it's frustrating that I still can't grow a proper beard. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, I just see, thought... it's it just mirrors a, real life. Yeah, exactly, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> but I play games to escape <laughs> the misery of my real life and face. <laughs> the misery of my face. Yeah. But in the actual like creation suite, it is quite... Yeah, it's still there. And, you, know, you, can, still, you yeah. can still download um, creative wrestlers online and some of the creations there, as the creation suites get more complicated, the creations that people come up with are amazing. Mm. And if you are, let's say, a fan of some wrestlers that aren't necessarily contracted to the WWE, you can probably still find them on the, on the online service. Which yeah. is handy. So in terms of the actual wrestling stuff yeah. this year, I know they've tried to make um, reversals a bit harder to do this yeah. year, because if you're really good at the timing for reversals, you can really just not get hit at yeah, all in previous ones. Whereas now it's a bit more random, like it gets a lot harder to reverse the more damage you take. Yeah, I think they've really they've really amped that stuff up. So now yeah you take a few hits and all of a sudden it becomes a lot more challenging to reverse stuff. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble. What's happened a few times when I've been playing is um, there's been uh, like outside interference from other wrestlers. So I'll mm. be doing just a, a standard one-on-one -on -one against the CPU. Yeah. And I'll sort of have them on the ropes and I'll be moving to go and do my finisher and stuff. And then I, someone's like theme music will hit and That's then you awesome. get a little cutscene where they're like looking out <laughs> waiting to see them come out and then they pop out from behind them. Oh, that's awesome. And then you can just turn around and hit them with your finisher and they roll out and you feel like yeah. an absolute badass. Seth Rollins has him right where he wants him with a knee right to the face. He's in control now. I mean, presentationally, it's it's kind of amazing and um, it's, yeah. uh, it kind of looks looks really, really good. And as a, as a sort of recreation of 
the pageantry of the WWE is bang on. Yeah, bang it, on. it looks great, and also like the um, the crowd aren't all just the same guy. Yes, anymore. Yeah. It wasn't just one guy, but it it seems like more like an actual crowd. Now, yeah, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, also the um, the commentary is uh, new team, is, right? Yeah, new team this year, so they don't have Jerry the King Lawler anymore. It's, right. Um, I think Byron Saxton and Corey Graves. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. It's still very clipped together yeah. from like so Seth Rollins going for the move yeah, kind of thing but yeah. it's nice to hear the, the new voices I really rate Corey Graves and mm. I like Byron Saxton as well so yeah it's a good uh, hopefully now that they've got the sort of base things uh, they can build up with more next year and more the year after that yeah I think that's how commentary tends to work in, in sort of all sports games you know FIFA Madden all that kind of yeah. thing they, they kind of once they have the team in place they just add more and more each, each yeah, year yeah exactly so that's cool um, I like the fact that uh, because of the increased NXT roster when you start the career the guys who are hanging around the performance center aren't like all sort of WWE superstars. Like, spoiler alert, The Rock turns up and is just hanging out there for yeah. some reason. Yeah, like that would But, <laughs> yeah. But the, the rest of the place isn't populated by, you know, the, the current main eventers. Yeah. It's a bunch of guys with, like, normal human names. Like No uh, Way Jose. Yeah, well, and No Way did, Jose. Did you see what WWE put on their YouTube channel? It no. was No Way Jose's entrance, but it was Triple H doing it in the game. Weird yeah, that so, they would officially recognise that that's a possibility. Yeah, let's, uh, let's run a clip. Yeah, what did you think of That's a real, Triple H's um, <laughs> sexy, sexy salsa? That yeah. is a real new look for the for the game. <laughs> and yeah, they've got the uh, the option to do eight man matches now, yes, which yeah. is which get very busy. As God, it's so it. confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it does give you more of that sense of like if you're doing a battle royale or something. Yeah, or the Royal Rumble, right? Yeah. I mean, the Royal Rumble it, it a means that the Royal Rumble flows in a more natural way because the you know, you're waiting the, more like the, the right amount of time for people to arrive rather than having eight people in the ring and having to wait longer yeah. for people to arrive. Uh, and they've changed the mechanics of the Royal Rumble and like eliminations and stuff. Uh, it's the first time it's been overhauled in ages and it's about time. I mean, it's yeah. one of the biggest events in the WWE calendar. And so it deserved a bit of love and it is a lot better this time. But yeah, very, very confusing. And what I am really pleased that they've done is they've uh, given you the option for a different way to escape submission mm. holds or to do submission holds on people. So there was the one before where you had to match up the, yeah, the two pain. bars. Whereas now you have to do like a, a little mini game, which yeah. is like a lot easier. Mm. So because I was always just getting tapped yeah. out because I couldn't figure out how to do their stupid Thing. Yeah, it's still also, got that really extreme golf swing on the pin thing, and if you've yes. taken a bit of damage, it's basically impossible. Is the rock in it? The, the rock, rock is in it, yeah. The rock is in it. Nice. Right. Yeah. Shows up right at the beginning in the performance center and is like, hey, kid, you look like you've got potential. Well, see ya. Back yeah. to Hollywood for me. Can you wrestle that? Can you wrestle you can oh, wrestle yeah, yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Can you be Dave Batista? Uh, Batista, yeah. Batista's you can be in it, yeah. Batista. I'm in. The two wrestlers, the two wrestlers, Luke, wrestlers knows, the Luke knows are in the game. Are in it. I like the ones that are in films. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of them are in films. John Cena was in a film called The Marine. Yeah, and um, what's his face? I Dean Ambrose like... was in a film called probably like The Maniac or something. Yep. I can only like two wrestlers at once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're Stone the tag Cold team Steve of your Austin. Heart. Stone Cold Steve Austin was in The Expendables, uh, two or three, one of them. It's probably one in, three. One out. I will say this about wrestling games over the last couple of years is that I really fell out of love with them a mm. while back because they became too complex and they were too preoccupied with being a simulation yeah. of what, it, you know, is... It's quite is, a silly... Yeah, a, a kind of contrived, you know, it's a contrived sports entertainment thing rather than an actual sport. So mm. I feel like it was a bit of a misnomer like to, to make it a, a, a sort of weird simulation yeah. that, that worked by its own internal rule set. Uh, whereas now I think they're a lot more accessible to play. The reversals thing is tough to get your head around, but once you do... It, it you know it's it, it's quite easy to, yeah. to to kind of get on with. And Plus, once you win a match, you can uh, break up the ending cutscene and go and beat up your opponent some more. Right, which is what you did to me when we played. Or I could beat you up. No, no. <laughs> oh, you always do this. It's so unfair. <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't do anything. I'll teach you. Unbelievable. It's great. The ultimate humiliation. <laughs> That's why I don't play games with you. And then the ref's back was turned, so I hit him with the mic plex right off a ladder through a table. Mm -hmm. A mic plex is what I call a lead pipe. Mike, not now. I'm trying to figure out what costume to wear for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking 
classic zombie Bubsy the Bobcat, mm -hmm. or do I go topical and dress as a loot box? Yeah, both good ideas, but have you considered taking your inspiration from wrestling? No. Well, Jane, you should, because there are loads of spooky wrestlers who would make excellent Halloween costumes. Why, any one of these would make you the toast of the Halloween party, as long as you don't mind spending most of your evening explaining to other guests who you're supposed to be, which is, of course, the mark of a good Halloween costume. Here are five of our favourites. What a great match! From his introduction at the 1990 Survivor Series to his final match at WrestleMania this year, The Undertaker has been one of the most enduring characters in wrestling, which is impressive considering how his character is an undead wizard. This one's gonna be simply amazing! With him having had such a long career, there are plenty of Undertaker iterations to choose from for your party get-up. There's the original Old West Mortician look, or the Satanic Ministry of Darkness get-up, very fetching, but I think we can all agree that The Undertaker was at his scariest in the year 2000, when he used to come out to Limp Biscuit. Brr. The Undertaker! There may be no entrance more intimidating than that of The Undertaker. Take it in, guys. This is truly legendary. Bray Wyatt is the charismatic cult leader of the Wyatt family, a stable of wrestlers who wore sheet masks, boiler suits, and massive, massive beards. Uh, Bray Wyatt. Yes, they all look like they panic bought Halloween costumes from whatever was left in the costume shop at 5.59pm on October 31st, but that's what makes this the perfect costume inspiration. You can put in the same amount of effort and pretend like it was on purpose. You might need to invest in a dry ice machine, but honestly, if you're a wrestling fan and don't already own a dry ice machine, now's the time, guys. Wow, would you look at all the fireflies. Finn Balor is a hugely popular current wrestler who usually looks like this. Finn Balor! Here comes the one and only Finn Balor. For important matches though, he pulls out all the stops and turns up as his demon persona, which is a crawling black, white and red nightmare version of Balor who looks like he just got in from an EDM festival and is still waiting for some stuff to wear off. Yes, it will take you between two and three hours to apply all the paint, but just think how cold you'll be all evening. Wait, maybe this is a bad idea. I think Sting is done playing. No question, Sting with a scorpion death drop. Sting spent most of the early 90s as a fun-loving surfer type with a bleach blonde hairdo and colourful face paint, but at some point in 1996 he clearly watched The Crow, because he turned up the next night on WCW Nitro looking like this. The following contest is scheduled for probably started a band as well. It's a pretty easy costume to put together this one, just hit up your local goth emporium, get some white face paint and paint a baseball bat black. That's smart thinking by the way Sting, you're going to win way more matches with that thing. Guys I'd say these superstars look more than ready to get this match started. I'd agree with that Cole, and it sounds like this arena is right there with them, they are absolutely electric right now. In the Attitude Era of WWE, most of the more colourful wrestling gimmicks disappeared in favour of gimmicks like drinking and swearing. Hey, that stuff was edgy in the 90s. Similarly edgy was Mankind, a cartoonish horror movie freak whose best friend was a grubby sock called Mr. Socko, making him the least sensitive portrayal of mental health issues outside of a school playground. Costume-wise, Mankind is reasonably straightforward. Fashion a leather mask from some old belts, wear an old shirt and tie, and draw a face on a sock. Feel free to actually launder your sock, though. Let me tell you, the human body was not- Mankind! Oh, that's the man of a claw! Disgusting. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Disclaimer, this sort of behavior may get you thrown out of your Halloween party. Then you're just a guy in a leather mask out on the street. Hmm. Now it's time to see what's in the comments and in this spooky haunted loot box. Oh no, it's spiders. Ah, oh, worst spiders you've already got. I already had this one. First up this week, let's take a look at the comments on last week's show all about the Evil Within 2 and the worst artists in video games. Hey, it's not my fault if most artists in video games are talentless hacks barely fit to empty my brush water. It takes more than just a spooky antique camera or a bunch of dead bodies arranged weirdly to make art, you know. These video game artists could do with learning that lesson. There were some superb suggestions from you folks as ever, such as this one from commenter Troy Edge who says, What? No layers of fear? He painted using pieces of human bodies. What, like as a brush? I mean, that would not surprise me. Probably. Are you going to uh, trapdoor me? Oh no, you're just going to melt and become a... There's a hand coming out of it! Uh... Ah, the monster! <laughs> and commenter music o in o my o head suggests... Kate's drawings in Slender the Arrival. Walk in, hello. Someone's dumped their rocks. Oh god, someone's drawn Slender Man all over the walls. Oh, I wish oh, they yeah. wouldn't do that. God, I told you, kids. I don't know, the hard pen strokes convey a sense of urgency. About Slender Man. Right. Powerful stuff. And if I ever get put in the brain matrix, I give you permission to not come after me. Are you sure? Yeah. What if I want to go in there, though, because it's well, cool that's and okay. scary and Yeah, Halloween. that's okay. okay. I will have taken control of it. <laughs> I just don't need you to know. Okay, right. You don't need me to know what you're doing <laughs> to in To see there. my brain terrors. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> and on the subject of Jane's future Evil Within-style brain matrix, commenter Lucas M says, Lovecraft books are not supposed to be how-to guides for brain dream matrices, Jane. Not with that attitude, they're not. Come on, you know the rules. Eldritch horror after we film show of the week. Fine. In that case, let's move on to the comments on this video about the non-lethal takedowns in video games that definitely did kill people. Just as long as you don't look too closely at the non-lethal options, because if you think about them too hard, it becomes apparent a lot of them are at least as deadly as the lethal method you've been trying to avoid. And that's not all, as commenters like Gabriel Knights point out. In Splinter Cell Chaos Theory in the Bathhouse mission, you get the choice to either shoot Shetland or put your gun away. Little did I think, however, that putting the gun away would result in Sam stabbing Shetland right in the gun and chucking him through a window down a building. I mean, that's worse. Much worse. You're right, Doug. I wouldn't shoot an old friend. Commenter Runko SP, meanwhile, is on to you, Mike, saying, I see Andy lent Mike some of his Hitman footage for the freezer segment. How sweet of him. What? That was all me! Really? What's his gamer tag doing there on the screen then? Hmm? <laughs> well, uh, Timothy McLean writes to say, Ice chests are hardly the most lethal body hiding places in Hitman. Remember that time you tried to hide a body inside a wood chipper? Hey, that was a hay baler and anyone could have made that mistake. Oh, there's a crate. I put it in a machine crate thing. Yeah, even better. I wish I'd seen that before. Oh, it's got stuff inside it. It's, um, I think it's like a... Hay baler. Oh, it makes hay bales. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Finally this week, your comments on our recent Friday the 13th live stream, in which we got a clean sweep as Jason by murdering all the councillors in one match, which made up for how we also at one point froze solid and were taunted by Chad dancing in his pants. It's like, how did it come to this? <laughs> <laughs> Are they tiger print underwear as well? I think everything about this is... I sort of love this guy. Commented Jonathan Davies thinks this is all a bit odd, saying, We always clearly see a fully clothed Chad in the opening cutscene. So this guy's first reaction after fleeing to safety is to strip to his tiger print thong. You can't argue it isn't an effective tactic. It stopped Jason right in his tracks. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to get a better view. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> I think he I think he sort of likes it. Commenter Jam Dev meanwhile enjoyed Jane's confident pledge to kill Jason, followed a few minutes later by her literally opening the door for him to kill her. I was trying to start a dialogue. Maybe he's misunderstood. Uh, Close it, Jason. Lock it, no. lock it, lock it! Hold it! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, he's actually oh, he's actually good. Jump out the window. Speaking of 
things that went well. Commenter T-Bird says, Congratulations on the Jason clean sweep and all, but did Jane just perfectly half a kinder egg like it was nothing? I know who the real MVP is. Yeah, that's right, Jason. <laughs> Why don't you come here and say that to my face? Okay, I'm gonna leave you to all this and head back in. Yeah, okay, catch you later. Oh, and I decided who I'm gonna go as for Halloween. I'm just not gonna show up and then tell everyone I was John Cena because they couldn't see me. That is genius. I know, I try. That's it for Show of the Week, thanks for watching, but before you go, we've just been reading your horoscope here. It says you'll face challenges. <gasps> no. Unless you press the like button on this video, in which case everything will be very easy for you. Oh, here's Mercury in retrograde then. Sure, why not? Great, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Close. All right, lunch. Oh, not me, I brought something from home. Is that a whole pumpkin? A whole spiced pumpkin. Okay, good luck eating that whole spiced pumpkin.